Tennessee's Attorney General Herbert Slatery will retire after eight years in office. The state's top attorney plans to return home to Knoxville. 10 News reporter Grace King spoke with him about the legacy he hopes to leave behind. We've accomplished a lot, I think, both in terms of, of um, cases that we've won and matters we've handled, and hopefully we've really represented the, uh, the state well. For eight years, Attorney General Herbert Slatery advocated for the state of Tennessee. I don't think Tennessee's a good state. I think it's a great state. One of his biggest cases was the opioid settlement. Uh, we've got a structure here to bring some, some resolution and get, get some help for, uh, for the people that are, uh, that are involved in this and prevent a lot of the deaths that, we're, that we've been experiencing. He fought for states' rights over federal ones. That's an issue that states will, will fight over for a long, long time. They want to preserve uh, their role and their, uh, their sovereignty. Critics say he got too involved in politics by joining a Texas lawsuit that tried to challenge the 2020 election results. You can't divorce yourself from politics in this office, so, but I don't think this office is, is political at all. Uh, and I think, I think a lot of people under, misunderstand our role. Slatery says he's proud of the work he's done. We're an advocate for the state. The people express themselves through the representatives, and so we have to defend those laws, and frankly, that's what we're supposed to do. And if we don't do that, we're not doing our job. Well, the Tennessee Supreme Court picked Jonathan Scrimetti to be the next attorney general. He has served as chief counsel to Governor Bill Lee since December of 2021. Starting